And uh, we're here the, with HP, and uh, who are you? Hey, I'm Josh St. John. I'm the global head of product for HP Immersive Computing. So, uh, what is this? So this is the HP Z 3D camera. It's an accessory that we released here at CES 2018. And it's like, a, you stick this in the back of the laptop? Uh, of the screen? Yeah, so this is a magnetic badge and it can attach to the back of any monitor. And then it attaches and it comes up over the screen like so. So it's right here over the screen. Uh, and uh, you're adding this functionality of what you call this? The so this is the Sprout Pro Sprout? G2. We released this last year or to announced this last year. Yeah, the Sprout? Yeah, um, so we've added all of the capture capabilities that are available from the, uh, the 2D and 3D capture capabilities from the Sprout G2. All right. So uh, it has exactly the same functionality, same projector, same everything? No, so there's no projector in the 3D camera. It just okay. has the, uh, the depth sensor as well as the 2D sensor. Uh, it does not have the projector. So the capture capabilities are there, but the projection capabilities are not there. All right, so you can put something in front and it captures the 3D of it. Yeah, well, let me show you a demo. All right. All right. So this software is called this software is called Camera 3D, and we actually won Best of Innovation for this software for the 2018 show. So um, I just place the object underneath the camera, hit scan, and when I pick it up, I just rotate it under the object. Now look at this, see my fingers were scanned? When I move my fingers, they just melt away. And I just rotate the object underneath until it's complete, uh, like so. Get the sides, rotate it around. My fingers, there's a little bit of remaining. Just wait for those to melt away. If you lose tracking, you just place the object down. Quickly regains tracking. Now we can show it the other side. That's pretty much a complete 3D capture. Now I'm gonna take some 2D images of it. So I just take a picture. This is a 14 megapixel sensor, so I'm taking these images. And I just rotate the object, much like I did before taking lots of pictures, painting with the high resolution texture, and then I hit finish. And when I hit finish, it's gonna calculate out the final image, and the final image will, in the end, I end up with an image like this. Nice. So that's, uh, that's like a, a uh, favorite tool, a tool of uh, dreams for the game designers, no? Definitely, definitely. And uh, it can be exported as a 3MF or as an OBJ with texture maps. It can be dropped into um, rendering engines. If you look at Microsoft and their creators update with PowerPoint 3D, Paint 3D, Mixed Reality Viewer, Adobe with Adobe Dimension, as well as all the 3D softwares out there, ZBrush, Substance, Maya, Max, Modo. This data is just perfect for that. Uh, After Effects, I don't think takes uh, real 3D data, but uh, I'd have to check on that. All right. Uh, the, the, the open source 3D software... Blender. Like Blender right? Yeah, Blender definitely fits perfectly into Blender. Are there many, many people working in 3D? Yeah, and we see it just uh, ubiqu... Uh, we just see 3D going everywhere. You can think of it a lot like digital video. So, um, you know, in... You, know, you can think of it a lot like digital video. Avid went public in 94 and Snapchat went public in 2017. Now everybody uses digital video all the time. We believe the same thing's gonna happen for 3D data, and we see it proving out with uh, Microsoft's Creators Update, Adobe's in investment, and all of the talk around AR and VR. And how much does it cost? $5.99, and it will start shipping in March, but you can pre-order it today. Again, it's the HP Z 3D camera.